Welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinavision version 8. In this video, we will be going over the new drawer features. I'm going to start this off by going over the new blind dado features that have been added to the drawer construction wizard. So the first thing I have to do is click on the drawer rollout construction wizard button. Now that we have that open, we can go to the dado slash miter part to see this new feature. So this feature starts not with this question, but actually the next one. As you can see, we now have the ability to specify a blind dado on our drawer and rollout parts. This first question is asking us if we use a blind dado on any of our drawer or rollout parts. Yes if we do, no if we don't. Since I answered yes to the last question, this next one is displayed, which asks us if we qualify our blind dados. As you can see from the image, a non-qualified blind dado is one that is the entire thickness of the material. Now, if we change this to yes, you can see that a smaller dado is created and material is removed from the part to make it fit. Now, if we qualified the blind dado, we need to specify a tenon thickness. We can either specify a fixed value or we can specify a percentage of the material to remain. For instance, if the material is 3 quarters of an inch thick, or 19 millimeters, and we set a percentage of material to 50%, the tenon would be 3 eighths of an inch thick, or 9.5 millimeters. This question wants us to specify the maximum pocket width we will allow to cut out the qualified tenon. This allows us to use a larger tool to cut out the tenon using the automatic tool selection in the S2M center. This next question allows you to let blind dados ignore the extend dado option in the S2M center. No if the S2M center option should not be suppressed, yes if it should. Here we can specify the blind dado front notch length. We also get to specify whether we use a rear notch or not. And if we did specify that we wanted a rear notch, we now get to set the size of the rear notch. The next few options allow us to define whether we are going to use stop, through, or blind dados for each part. This next question allows us to define an additional amount that we want to add to the width of the dado for easier assembly. We can also define an additional amount to the length of the dado for assembly purposes. And finally, we can define an additional depth to the dado for ease of assembly. Now that we have covered the blind dados, let's go ahead and move on to the next new feature of the drawers. This can be found in the boring section. Now, this feature is buried in the wizard a bit, so I'm going to just skip ahead a little to get to it. And here we are. Starting with Cabinet Vision V8, we have the ability to specify the vertical position of construction boring for all parts. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you want more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.